Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode. The previous episode is about starting to have a dream. The five D principle. What drive you? You know, uh, what what's your desire? Things like that. Now, this episode is about setting your personal goal. Without a personal goal, you will be wasting your time because you're not going to go there within a short period of time. You will be wiggling around and you don't know where you're going and you have no target. And today's episode, we're going to teach you how you're going to sort out your personal goal. Now, for this um, episode here, you need to have some equipment. First of all, you got to have a different color pen. I got the blue, green, purple, red, black. You got some paper as well. Okay, the A4 size. Now. Um, I, halfway through of this, I'm going to turn my camera around so you can see what I'm going to write on here. Now, just be patient a little bit more here first. Okay, now I'm going to tilt the camera down so that you can see. Now, as you can see, I am having a, a blank A4 paper. Now, I pre-write something on here already. Now. Let's say my goal in the middle is I want to buy a house. Let's make it up here. Now, to, I'm just making it up because lots of people want this. Now, once you write down what's in the middle here, you've got to branch it out. Let's say a house or for some of you, you might want a car. You branch it out there. You've got to write down in a single word. Okay, I don't want to see you write down a long sentence there. Just a single word would be okay. Now, for example, something that relates to buying a house. Um, I just make it up here, let's say finance, you know, how much are you going to for X amount of dollar, for example, or the mortgage, how much, how much you're going to loan. Um, some people might be thinking about, or I want to have a one story or two stories house, or some people prefer to have three, uh, the color, and some people like me, I, I'm quite picky with the location there. And who is going? To, who are you going to live with? Okay, of course you don't want to live with someone that you you feel sick. So once you're done, you're going to color them using the color pen that I just said to you before. Something that relate to each other. Let's say the finance and mortgage relate to each other. That's why I put it in green. And then the color story, uh, two story, they relate to each other because it's a layout, the design of the house, and then the location or who you're going to live with. Now, the thing is, you might have more. You might be thinking, oh, uh, um, I'm thinking how far away from X, Y, Z, okay? So everyone is different. I'm just making, I'm making it super simple there. As long as you write down in a single word there and you box it with, um, uh, you know, to the, uh, with a certain color that relates to each other. Once you're done, you move on to, you get a new paper there. You got to sequence them from the least important to the most important one for me okay so everyone's different i'm just doing that you know just coming out from my mind there so now here first one that i think now nah, because it's like red in color so i'm going to put the red layout to me the layout is not very important so that is the least important i write down here least the least important all the way down to the most important there, the most, um, maybe you can't see it there, but I can read it out to you, the most important there. Okay, now, the layout to me, uh, but for, for you might be different. So layout is at least important, okay, and who I'm gonna live with, uh, not really important. Now, we're starting to get more important is the finance, how much can I afford it? And the most important part to me is location, because I wanna save time. Now, think about this here. When you, that is your goal, where you want to get to. Aha, uh -huh. where you want to get to, right? The look, which would get you to buy the house. You got to do reverse engineer that. You're not going to start from here. You got to start with the most important first. The location would dictate the price, okay? So here is not really important. The price would dictate the layout, okay? Because you here, who you can choose who you want to put into the house there. So always start for the most important things first. In your life, you always do the most important things first and you work your way back. And that's how you do it, location. For example, am I close to your work, close to where you can send the kids, close to where you're going to um, your future businesses? And the next one, you will think about the money, okay? You might have to choose some sort of like um, 
price that within your budget budget there who up to you who you want to put it in or you can rent it out once you have an xyz amount of the price there then you can dictate what layout or color you are going to have or what kind of money you can spend on to change the design of the house that is how you can work your way out by going reverse by going backward reverse engineering okay so i'm going to turn the flip this camera up now i hope this episode give you lots of value if you like it don't forget to hit the button on the right hand side share if you're on youtube now don't forget to hit the button down the bottom there uh, on the right on the left there's a button say subscribe hit that notification bell and then for the next episode you will get to see it and also um my online course is uh waiting to be approved by the authority so once it's out i will let all you guys know i hope to see you in the next episode bye for now